If you want to make a delicious smoothie at home, this might do it. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here with Kenko. I just got this box. It's by Kenko. Came from Kenko, and it says Kenko right on the top. And in this box, it's supposed to be a delicious smoothie. Now, I have actually no idea how this works. I saw an ad for this, and I thought, wow, that does look good. I love smoothies. I hate running out for them. They're expensive. They take a while to make. You can't really drive through for them. If I could make a delicious smoothie at my home, it would certainly be worth it. And I know that you can subscribe to Kenko Smoothies, and they have a bunch of different types here. This is kind of an interesting box. It's actually pretty big. This is kind of their starter box, too, because I think once you get onto the subscription program, you don't need some of this stuff. So first of all, here is the nutritional facts in this little book here. This bottle is kind of the starter pack thing because you're going to have to shake up this bad boy, and so I think this bottle is designed just for this, although I'm sure you can use it for making other things, shakes at home. It's actually not that big of a container here on the bottom, a little frosted, and it does have a line here that says Max Liquid. You can see how that screws into the bottom here, otherwise it kind of looks like a regular 20 ounce pop bottle. And then on the top here we have this little screen. I can pull that out, looks like we have a little silicone seal on there, so that's going to filter out the big stuff, maybe ice or something. And then you can see how it screws onto the bottom. And then on the top we have a big mouth opening, little silicone gasket there as well. So I think this is how you shake it up or make it. And as I said, on their website, to be honest, they could probably improve it. Other than having delicious smoothies pictured there, they had no instructions on how to make it. So that's why I'm making this video because I actually don't know if this is gonna be easy or super hard. And then in this box, I think this is where we have our smoothie. To be honest, I didn't even know if I should refrigerate this thing when it got delivered, but it took like three days to get, so I'm kind of guessing we don't have to. We'll find out here. Healthy habits? Happy life. All right, so let's see what we get here. Oh, I guess we don't have to refrigerate it because everything is powdered. Now, this is kind of a variety pack. Holy smokes, it comes with a lot of stuff here. Oh, you even wrote my name in there. They're keeping it kind of personal, that's cool. All right, so I'm looking at this. This says reds, crimsons, yellows, ambers. All right, so here's the instructions and it says, shake with 10 ounces of chilled water. Good thing I've been working out with that shake weight. All right, I'm kind of taking the shortcut approach to this. I actually used the crushed ice dispenser on my refrigerator. I filled it up maybe a fifth of the way with that crushed ice, and then I filled the rest with regular tap water here. So I've got it up to that max fill line. As you can see, got a little iceberg of ice in there. And hopefully the crushed ice will help mix this up, but also cool off the water because... I don't know, maybe you don't have chilled water at your home, like me. All right, so I am going to try the oranges here. Just taking a little sniff here, and it smells like orange, but it also smells like healthy stuff. I don't know if it's like alfalfa or wheatgrass or something like that too, but I'm kind of getting a little bit of like half orangey smell and a half like green vegetable smell. To be honest, I was hoping it smelled more like fresh fruit and candy. And then in it goes. So there it is in there. I'm just going to put the top back on here. And then we are going to give it a shake, 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 shake that bottle, shake that bottle. All right. I don't know how long you're supposed to shake this, but I've only been doing it for like 20 seconds. All right. Now I do want to show you what this looks like. So I don't want to drink it straight out of the bottle. I'm actually going to pour it out the top to kind of strain out the ice. I don't know that me eating the ice and maybe diluting the taste is all that fair. Although some of the ice is getting through the little grate there. All right. So that's all of it. Kind of your regular glass. And as you can see, we have a lot of particulate in there, a lot of pulp. Now I will say it has much more of a mimosa smell to it. It's not heavy on the orange. It actually smells a lot like a orange mango peach juice. Let's give it a try. Got a little ice in there, but that's pretty good. I will say if you're looking for a smoothie that has that kind of slushy body of like a Slurpee, then you're going to probably have to freeze this or something. Most of these at home smoothies are kind of like a pulpy juice, which is fine. I mean, it does taste good and it's very smooth. It has a little bit of sweetness. There's nothing bitter about it. I was really worried about that, especially kind of smelling that alfalfa smell to it. But I will say it doesn't have that overly sugary or sweet taste that a juice will have. You can tell that it's kind of toned down, I think, with like the vegetable aspect of whatever the components are. It certainly is easy to drink, that's for sure. So on the side here, it does have the constituents. And what I would say is that it really tastes mostly like the orange, pineapple, 
almost peach, almost mango taste to it. But then it also says it has papaya, apple, rhubarb stalk, turmeric. And I would say that that kind of makes up the minority of it. I would say that that, that orange, peach, mango type of taste is 80% of the flavor. And then that 20% is that other stuff. I certainly wouldn't mind smoothies that are all just the fruit component and they don't try to put in any of the other exotic types of flavors in there. But I didn't have any problem putting this down. Now, I will say, it only makes a glass of this and it definitely has more of that smoothie experience when it's cold or chilled. So putting a little crushed ice in there, maybe using very cold water, something like that, I think is going to be an advantage. But if you want a smoothie at home, and now I have like a dozen of them and everything that you need to get going, well, you can order this Kenko starter kit and get subscribed. I think if you use my link to sign up, they'll give you a little bit of a discount. So I will put that in the description below. So that no matter where you are or how far you are from your local juice place, you can make a delicious smoothie at home. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper.